Hi everyone. I'm in my bedroom today and I know the lighting's probably not really well because of the bright behind me, but there's a reason for that. Um, I kept seeing these ads on Instagram for this stuff. Bee wax. Not bees wax, but bee wax. And they said it was a really good furniture conditioner and polisher. And, um... Years ago, I did a lot of furniture refinishing. I haven't done it in a long time. But I never really waxed anything other than, um, you know, the wax you put on after chalk paint. That was about it. And uh, that was different from this stuff. The thing that got me with this was it said it would get rid of water stains. And that's why I'm in my bedroom here, because I'm sitting on this platform in front of the windows that I put plants on. And based on all the water stains on it, um, quite a few people before me must have had plants on there too, because there's a lot of them. And it's a lighter wood, but um, I wanted to try it out on that and actually a few other things. So... Um, I didn't order it from the website on Instagram because it's usually more expensive there. So I hurried up and I went over to Amazon, checked that out, and yep, I could get it cheaper. So I got two this size. It comes in a bag and you get this sponge to go with it. That's to apply it and then you use a different rag when you're um, buffing it out. So I'm going to be using, I'm going to start with this um wooden seat here but then there's two other items I wanted to try it on as well so I figured I'd bring you guys along and you could see if it works or not and if it's worth buying so let's go ahead and get started okay to start with I did clean and dry this first and as you can see there are tons of water stains on here anyhow I'm going to put some on the sponge and it says the directions say to work with the grain of the wood and we're just going to rub it in I'm not sure how much to use you don't want to work it in too much you want to have extra on there to let it sit the sponge doesn't fit real well in here but I'm going to try and do this whole section and I took a before picture so we can make sure to check the results I really, really hope this um, lives up to the hype. Sometimes products actually do, and that's nice. I'm hoping that's enough. Okay, now you're supposed to let this sit for about 30 minutes. So while that's waiting, we'll move on to the next piece. Okay, now this is just an inexpensive tray table I picked up to use as um, a side table at Goodwill. Um, and it has a couple spots where there's paint on it. So, you know, I probably should have taken that off first, but... Um, I just want to see how it works, and I can always fix these little doodads later. This actually isn't really that bad. It just looks kind of faded to me. So we'll just go ahead and get it on there. I also took a picture of this ahead of time. I really love those before and afters. <laughs> so I want to see the difference if there is one and I, I think both of these were just under $20 on Amazon I was thinking of trying it if it works out well on uh, the cabinets in my kitchen they're in good condition but you know they're older and just looks like they maybe lost a little bit of their finish and between two of these, that should be more than enough. It's a good amount. Okay. 
let's move on to the last piece. Okay, now this is an old buffet that really, really needs to be um, refinished. But it's not going to happen anytime soon. And it's been this way for quite some time. So I figured if I just did that one, that one door right there, you know, I'd like to see how it goes on and how it buffs when it's not just um, a completely flat surface. So I'm going to go ahead and pretty much do the door. I don't know if I'll go down below that or not, but let's, uh, let's try it. Okay, time's up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to buff it. Now, we're not trying to take the wax off. We're buffing it. And there's a difference. So you don't want to, you know, use too much pressure. Well, it looks better, but I wouldn't, I don't know, maybe a second coat... I can still see some of these water spots. But it definitely looks better. And again, you want to go with the grain. So here's still a water spot, and over here. But it doesn't look as... Um, you know, dried out this whole area. There's this, and then there's another lip up here where I have more plants. Um, is exposed to the sun every single day. So, you know, over the years, it has lightened and dried out the wood quite a bit. So, I don't think a second coat would um, go amiss on here. Okay, let's check out the table. It almost seems like I put more on this. I don't know. I think the table looks really nice. I mean, it didn't have water spots, but kind of like the ledge over there, it just looked like the wood was, you know, dried out. And this is really making it look good. I mean, I still have the paint here and here, but overall, I think it looks nice. Okay, let's work on this last one. Well, I gotta say, I didn't have really high hopes for this, so I don't think I'll be disappointed either way. <laughs> um... But it does look nicer, I think. The, the wood looks like it has a much more rich color to it. And this these little doodads here don't seem to stand out quite as much.
So yeah, I think if you would want more of a shine, you would want to put an extra coat on. But um, overall, I'd have to give this a thumbs up. I think it's working out great. Okay, so that's it. How do you think it went? Do you think it uh, did a decent job? Let me know down in comments. And if you are interested in getting it, here it is again. But I'll put a link down in the description box for you to check out yourself. Um, like I said, I think it was $20 or less. And I'm going to work on my cabinets. <laughs> And some other stuff now that I have. And I'm going to finish my uh, window seating stuff in there too. Because it does look a lot better. It may not get rid of all the water spots. Um, how they said. It may depend on how long they've been there. Or how bad they are. But it definitely looks a lot better. And um, I'm glad I bought it. So anyhow, thumbs up if you liked the video. I appreciate it. It was nice talking to you. And uh, you take care.